What's going on guys? We are here at the barn today. The barn. Um, today we're going to be loading up the old trailer with the uh, 600 Ford and taking it and doing a little uh, grading job. I'm really just going to fix the guy's driveway. It's got a gravel driveway. I got the scrape blade on it. And we're going to take it uh, over yonder and uh, see if we can't help him out. So as you can see, I got some damage to my trailer here. I put my fat ass foot through it the other day. Loading some stuff and uh, I'm a little concerned about it. I might have to get the uh, 600 over here and put it on here and see where the wheels line up. And we may have to fix that before we can uh, load it up, head out. It's uh, fired up. Got the scrape blade on there. down chain bind on the front so I put the chain on the back put it in neutral let it roll forward and put tension on this back chain and while it's still in neutral I got the blade down so don't free 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 fall forward and then I put the uh, chain bind on the front pull it forward which tightens up that chain and then I got a big strap Hook here, hook across the middle as a extra. So I'm finished strapping it down. I gotta load it up. I gotta take it out to the shop. We gotta put some air in the tire. These old dry rod tires really need to be replaced, as you can see. There's not money in the budget to do that right now, so we're not gonna do that right now. But uh, we'll get a strap down, head to the shop, put some air in the tires, and then we'll head to the job. All right, here we go. See how she pulls. We're not going far. Just to the shop down the road. I don't like to go far without stopping and checking my chains and stuff with any load, whether it's a big load or a small load. So after you get down the road a little bit, Stuff shakes, settles, shifts. So always stop and check. Retighten.
falls off, we're screwed. We're not going far. Here's the shot. Like I say, it's not far. Let's see what we got. All right, pulled to the shop. See, it's a little loose. Shift forward a little bit. One of the things you got to worry about is this. This chain will creep up, and honestly, it probably should be right there. I might redo that one. Because this thing creeps up the the hitch here. We could loosen up. That's pretty tight. So we could have shifted forward a little bit. We'll give it another crank down on the uh, chain bind. So I'm going to put some air in the tires and then we'll uh, head down the road. Load it up, air it up. Tools in the back, air tank. A few things. way i'm not gonna film the journey because it's about a 10 minute drive and i'm gonna focus on what i'm doing so i'll see y'all there all right here we are what about a maybe five minute trip little mountain here in the southeastern Catawba County, North Carolina. You gotta bring my buddy Tom's house. There's a, this is not his driveway. <clears throat> There's a couple of houses down here. pulls like a dream. I pulled this tractor a bunch. It, uh, it pulls great. It's like the perfect amount of weight on the trailer. And you get set just right and get the perfect amount of ton weight on the truck. It pulls like a dream. I've also got a ticket on this thing for weight. I got a $26 ticket. You scroll down through this. If you're watching this and you want to see it's like a video where I got that ticket. It's like a huge, huge racket put on by the state. But they claim it's a, a fee for the extra wear and tear that large vehicles put on the road but you know for somebody like me who's just pulling a trailer with a tractor on the back of it it's nothing but a tax and if you're pulling like a dump truck you're driving like an f-350 and pulling a loader or something yeah interesting fact this property here on my right used to belong to nascar driver chad little and he used to land planes here. He used to drive the number 16 Family Channel. Roush Racing. Car. Yeah. He got a fence stand and somebody's got horses on now, but he used to, uh, this was a airstrip. Pulling up my buddy Tom's. He's gonna take us up to his driveway and we're gonna get this thing straightened out. Now that guy needs a way to tag right there. Not me. Over here, <clears throat> this is the driveway. Goes up's probably uh, maybe it's over 100 yards long, I'd say. So I got the chain bind off the front. I have to crank the tractor, back it up, take the tension off this chain so I can uh, get this chain loose. Uh, the only problem I had was I'd had my ratchet strap strung backwards, so I couldn't get it off. So I ended up having to take this, this bolt out right here, pulling this piece off to get it loose. I've restrung it. 
I'm sure I strung it wrong to start with. But, uh, other than that, it pulled like a dream, man. This thing pulls like a dream. But uh, I'm gonna get this thing unloaded and we'll get started. All right, we started. Got a little bit done. He's got some ruts. It's not bad. Just trying to fill in the ruts, turn the gravel over. A lot of people think they need uh, more load of gravel, but really, your gravel gets packed down super hard. And you really just need to scrape it and pull it back up to the front. So that's what I'm trying to do for him. So we'll carry on. That's it. Wrapping her up. Rear view shot. I'm trying to turn around this uh, driveway here and uh, get the road. Yep. That's it. Headed to the house. Got it uh, loaded up. I'm going to take her home to do my driveway. So uh, I'm not as happy about this strapping job as it was the first time, but. It's literally like five minutes. I say that and some bitch will fall off on the way home. But anywho, let's see if we can get a tall shot without my phone falling off and breaking. gonna do my driveway out there I sprayed it to uh, round up the other day give it a couple days for the grass and stuff to start dying and then I'm gonna drag my driveway so uh, got there made it back home safe that's all we asked for thank the good Lord for another day and uh, catch you later <laughs> 